Welcome everybody, it's a lesson 5 of chapter 1. Last time we talked about stratigraphy, which studies layers, and then layers affected by processes, which is studied by physical geology. If processes are external, it will give us primary structures, just like mud cracks, rebel marks, and so on. And if the processes were internal, like tectonic movement, which comes from convection current which generates by the asthenosphere we will have secondary structures like fault like fault like joints and today we'll talk about folds always remember that all layers on earth form it in horizontal way but do you think with external and internal processes which is continuous and will never stop any horizontal layers can stay horizontal i think it's impossible even it happens already but rare and we will talk about it in chapter four today we will talk about the layers which affected by pressure forces pressure can bend layers to be a fold and fold is a bending or wrinkling in layers due to the effect of pressure forces and to study folds and its types we have to study three fold elements first element is axial plane an axial plane is imaginary planes that we know it's not real but we use to cut the fold to two identical halves just like mirror and second element is limbus and the limbus is the two rock masses at the right and left of the axial plane and you have to know that every time the axial plane cuts a layer it produces a line the line which comes from intersection between the layer and the axial plane called axis so with every layer we will have an axis so the number of axes is equal to the number of layers three layers gives us three axes five layers five axes and so on by studying the three elements you can have a lot of fault types but we will study only two types if you see the layers bending upwards it's an anticline fault and when you see the layers bending downwards it's syncline fault okay what if we find incomplete fault just like that fault i saw in the highway between alexandria and cairo the geologist tells you if you want to know the fault type, you, you have to know the layer's ages. If the oldest layer is in the center, it's an anticline fault. If the youngest layer in the center, it's a syncline fault. And as we know from lesson one, geology is an important science for economy. And if you know economists, they will never study something doesn't give money. And fault is, is an important source of money. First, because it's a perfect trap for oil and gas. The concave shape works as a reservoir for oil. Second, we can know from faults which is older and younger layers. Third, if you see fault in some area, that means that area affected by pressure forces. Last two things you have to know about faults that you will never find a lonely fault. It will be always combined. Anticline, syncline, anticline, syncline, and so on. Second, all examples I gave you today about faults was huge, like mountain. But also you can carry a fault in your hand. It can be some centimeter square. So Today I tried to speak English on the lesson. Tell me in comments if you like it or not. And you can see the Arabic video too. If you learned something from me today, give me like. If it's the first time you see me, give me subscribe. And share the video as much as you can to reach a lot of people. Don't forget to see the previous lessons. Ask me if you have something you don't understand. Thank you for listening. See you later.